Hey guys, today we're gonna do a power hour. We're gonna go ahead and set our timer to one hour. I'm giving myself an extra 10 minutes because I am filming, so I need that. But let's go ahead and set our timers and get started. Okay, so for these power hours, if you've never heard of one, which you probably have by now, it's where you set a timer and you try to get as much done as possible in that hour. So for me to stay on track, it is easier to make a list ahead of time of the things that you want to accomplish, your goals, if you will. So I actually have made a printable power hour checklist. If you want to follow along and do the things that I did in this video, it is available to download for free. The link to that is in the description box if you guys want to do this with me. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by changing out my air filter here. It was ready to be changed. And then I'm going to move that tree because I know a lot of you voted that you didn't like it there. Ultimately, I ended up not liking it there either. And I absolutely love where I moved it so let's go ahead and see where I moved it and get started So 
All right, so I am using my vac mop, which vacuums and mops at the same time. If you're doing a power hour, this is a must. This saves me literally so much time because obviously I'm doing two things at once. It also saves my back. This one is budget friendly. It's under $200. It's available on Amazon. I will have it linked in the description box for you. So if you want to check it out for yourself, then I highly recommend getting a vac mop. Now we're moving upstairs and I'm going to switch out my air filter up there as well. I order these in two because I have two of the same size, one upstairs, one downstairs, and then I order the different size that we need for the basement as well so that came in a couple days later and we changed those out these are the brand color fills so they change color when they're ready to be switched out which is pretty cool so when it's like orangish yellow that means it's time and then when it's brand new it's pink so that's what I'm doing and now I'm going to go ahead and start a load of laundry because if you are doing a power hour starting a load of laundry is a must so it would probably be best to do that in the very beginning of the power hour but we're just doing it here in the middle. It doesn't matter as long as it gets done, right? So I'm using my favorite laundry products here and just getting that load of laundry started. I recently found this odor defense um, gain in that super fresh blast scent. And you guys, seriously, next time you're at the store, pick some of it up. It is so good. It makes your laundry smell amazing. And I'm going to quickly restock my toilet paper. I've been putting it in this dresser. It's kind of dusty because of the lint from the toilet paper, but it doesn't matter because I'm just literally storing linty toilet paper in there. So it's just going to get dusty again. So I didn't bother with dusting it, but I was just restocking that really fast. And I'm going to go ahead and tidy up our bedroom. So I'm going to make the bed dust and vacuum in here. Okay, now we're gonna move into the bathroom. I chose my master bathroom because it's connected to my master bedroom and that's where I was working. So I'm gonna do a quick wipe down and tidy of the bathroom, just put everything away, clear the countertops and wipe everything down. And I've recently been loving this Lysol cleaner. It leaves my countertop super shiny. And by the way, Kitty is right here at the microphone. She just jumped up on my desk whenever I'm at my desk working. She loves to come up here. I'm so terrified one of these days she's going to walk past my keyboard and like delete my entire project in the middle, which she just about did. Can you say hi, Kitty? Here. Say hi.
Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for I pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. Option to be someone else, I would, and let go of you.、Mm -hmm. I know that I'm obvious, but I made this way. But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace. I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth.、Mm -hmm. I hope that this power hour has left you super motivated to do one of your own. My tips for a power hour are to give yourself grace. If you have a smaller home than me, an hour solid should be great. If you have a larger home than me, set a timer for an hour and a half, set a timer for two hours, whatever you think you need. And the best part about this is you can stop in an hour and be done. Reward yourself, pat yourself on the back, you did great. Or you can keep going. And a lot of the times when I do this, I have so much momentum. And I'm just like on a roll that I continue going, but at least set that timer for an hour or an hour and a half, whatever, and get those things on your checklist done. Hey, if your timer goes off and you didn't complete everything, that's okay. You can do it tomorrow, you can do it later, or you can keep going and do it now. It's totally up to you. There are no rules when it comes to cleaning your home or power hours for that matter, but I think they're fun. I think they double as a workout. I think they're highly motivating, and I think they're very eye opening because once you're done, you're able to look back and Say, wow, I got so much done in only an hour's time. If I can do this daily, then I can really keep a clean home. And that's a question I get asked a lot on my channel is how do you keep your house clean? First of all, it's not clean all of the time. Definitely not every area in my home is clean all of the time. Sometimes, if my kitchen and living room are clean, that might mean that the upstairs is a disaster or vice versa. I have a very large house. I have three kids. I have three animals. It's hard to keep the whole thing clean all the time. That very rarely ever happens. And if it does, it's only that way for like literally 10 minutes.
right, so we have 10 minutes left. I'm gonna try to power through this and get done another bathroom. So this happens to be my daughter's bathroom. It is little, so it's pretty easy. I'm just doing a quick wipe down in these bathrooms today. I'm not doing deep cleans in them. So it's pretty quick and I'm just spraying down the mirror, spraying down the countertop, spraying down the toilet and just kind of decluttering the countertops if they need it and moving on. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I did give myself a little extra time just because I'm filming. My battery on this camera literally dies every 30 minutes. I probably go through six to seven batteries per video that I film for you guys. And it's just a pain, honestly, I have to. My camera will die, I have to stop, go get the battery, put it in there, reattach it to the tripod, and then moving the tripod around and getting angles and all the things that go into filming behind the scenes takes time. So I did give myself a little bit of extra time. And I also ran out of time, which will happen. But what I ended up doing was I knew I had my head and my mind set on getting my daughter's room tidied too, because I was in her bathroom, her bedroom really needed to be tidied. And so even though my timer went off, I still got that done. It took probably an extra like 10 to 15 minutes to do her room as well, but I wanted to complete that. So I would feel like I got everything on my checklist done, even though I did go over a little bit. If you can tell yourself, if I can set aside an hour every day, or if I can set aside an hour four days out of the week to just power through and get a bunch of stuff done, then you too can also maintain a clean house. I promise you that's how I do it. I clean a little bit every day. I get up in the morning clean. It takes me about an hour to just kind of tidy and reset things uh, on the first floor. And then I can go upstairs and same thing. It takes me about an hour to reset things upstairs. So it just really puts it into perspective. And I feel like it's a mindset shift and that can really be beneficial for me personally. So hopefully it is for you as well. I hope that you leave this video motivated and don't forget to check out the description box if you want to download that printable checklist and do the things that I did in this video and see if you guys can get it done in an hour. Stuck in the middle of coming inside and walking out. Just stay for a little. You say is it close the door behind me? Look in the mirror. Hearing you whisper in my ear. Say are you a sin? Or I begin All right, so technically my hour is up, but I really wanted to accomplish my daughter's room. So what I'm gonna do is just a really quick tidy. I wanna make the bed, straighten up in here and run the vacuum really fast. So I'm gonna set a timer and see how quickly I can get this room done.
Okay, now I am gonna switch out that load of laundry, put it into the dryer and get it going so I can fold it later. And then there were two more things on my list that as I was cleaning, I knew that I wanted to accomplish on this day. So I went ahead and filmed those and added those clips in. They're very quick and easy and just simple little things, but they're satisfying and they needed to be done. So we're gonna move into those clips next and then I will have behind the scenes per usual. So don't click out yet. You're definitely gonna wanna see those. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next week. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I
so selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough, but you're all I need. I take you places that you've never been. I would give you the world if you let me try again. Yeah, just give me one more chance. I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I out the glass but I swear I heard it twice my heart stopped every time I'm like in the shower or anytime I'm like um there's like a lot of noise I hear things oh it's annoying okay the floor is in there real fast Bye. 